Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about user record in backendless user management, what it is used for, the importance of user record, and the kind of functionality that is associated with user records in backendless. A user record is the core element of backendless user management. A single user record identifies your user and the user for your application and provides access to that user to your application. Whenever you log into Backendless Console and switch to the data section, as you can see, it is selected here on my screen. The one of the tables in the system data section is called users, and that's where user records for your application live. When you create a brand new application, more than likely or pretty much guaranteed that the users table is going to be empty. If you create an application from one of the temp templates, from one of the blueprints, there may or may not be user record depending how that blueprint was set up. But uh, the users table in backendless is really just the regular database table. Not so regular, it has kind of special uh, rules and conditions that you will learn about. But from the way that table works, it's going to be exactly the same as any other table. But as far as tables in the database, there is a separate course where we discuss all the functionality related to the database. But, but here, we're focusing strictly on user management. In here, what I have in my application, uh, just a number of user records that have been set up for demonstration purposes. And what I have here is that individual users that are represented by rows in this table, they have access to my application. They can log in and uh, use the functionality. So in your application, whenever users register uh, and get access to your application, user records will typically be created in this users table. So the most important thing to understand about user record, it really is a record uh, that represents a specific user that has access to your application. Some users may be actual real users that log in and use the app, but you could also create system level users where only your application would know the user ID and password and you'll be able to log in as that user, say from cloud code to execute some special functions. So what is a user record? Well, here you, you see that there are uh, multiple columns that are shown here, such as email and name and location. There is powers for the reason that my users are superheroes, so they have related powers. There is password and password is going to be a special thing that uh, exists for users where you can configure the password and where the password is actually stored. You cannot see the password. We'll talk about passwords uh, in, the, in the next video. But the point here is that individual columns are going to be referred to as properties of your user. You can configure those properties if you go into the schema section and then select, for instance, table editor. There are two different ways you can configure properties, either using this table editor, or if you go into the visual modeler, then you can work with this user's table and create individual uh, columns or properties for your users. So in here, if, uh, for instance, I want to add a new property that would be called, for example, phone number, so I, you type in the property name, you select the type, string will work just fine, click create. And now if you go back to data browser, there is a column phone number where you can actually provide information of what that phone number is for any given user. And uh, likewise, any other property that makes sense in the context of your application can be created that way. To edit a value for any given column, you can just click on that cell, type in the value, or if you use uh, this edit column in here, you can click this icon and you get one uh, essentially pop-up that has every single property that is associated with that specific user record. And you can uh, control exactly what these uh, uh, values are. And that's it. So that's what user records are. You can export these user records by selecting under more the export link and uh, that creates a CSV file that would be available in the 
files storage. And this way you get access to uh, the, the, all the user records in a, in a different format, which is going to be CSV. Again, for the export, import, and import, there's going to be a separate lecture. But for now, that's all I wanted to share with you as far as user records. Thank you for watching, guys, and as always, happy backendless coding.